All right, so we have the data download for JP, the second part of the anniversary, and everything is coming out very, very quickly. So tomorrow night, 6 p.m. Pacific time, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern time, we have the part two LRs, and then the World Tournament with a bunch of EZA units and Int LR Piccolo's EZA. Very, very crazy. We're going to break this all down right here. Just to quickly touch on the two new LRs, they're very good. These units can get extremely high defensive sets. Wow, this LR art looks pretty sick. Um, but both of them are very good. I think that they're impressive. I think that they could potentially be argued as top three best units in the game, even especially this Goku. I want to use them in game, but they look very powerful. Defensive stats are looking extremely spicy. Like these guys could easily hit 800, 900, 1 million defense. Well, 800, 900k, I meant 1 million defense even. And they probably do some pretty good damage too. So I'm excited to see how that turns out but it's pretty cool uh they both have fierce battle luckily <laughs> which is a good thing but these guys are very strong i can't wait to see how they are in game there's going to be gameplay of them probably soon by the content creators but yeah uh, i don't really do private showcases and stuff like that but that's pretty cool i think the most thing that people want to focus on though is these guys the world tournament easy a's and an awakening for this goku right i translated this piccolo on twitter but essentially to talk about what he's doing was leader skills all allies key three 150 hp and then 90 attack and defense pretty solid i guess you know for a leader skill nothing really special actually no it's kind of bad obviously but <laughs> so he gets key three and then 200 defense to start of turn then he gets more attack based on remaining hp the higher hp the greater boost you get and that is up to 200 he gets key one and defense punch 20 percent to all allies then if there's a kid Gohan attacking in on the team, or no, just kid, yeah, kid Gohan on the team specifically, key two and twenty percent defense. Then if kid Gohan's on the same rotation, he gets a hundred percent defense, and he guards all attacks in slot one. That's a very very powerful ability. Just to show you guys here on the screen, all defense hundred percent, and then guard against all attacks in slot one. So as long as there's a kid Gohan on the in the same rotation right so obviously he's kind of designed to be used with this new lr kid gohan which is pretty good for him bottom master sapoyoni he'll be getting the 200 percent buff providing this guy 40 percent support uh pretty good his super attack effects 12 key greatly lowers attack his 18 key raises attack by 30 percent for the turn for all allies and that's pretty much it i mean yeah um again he shares a couple of links with gohan two links actually never mind gays are respecting legendary power with the two links they share but they're on a couple of teams um spiccolo seems good i think that you know as a slot one guard unit again you basically have him on rotation with this gohan and then i guess what happens is this gohan gets links from piccolo like no this gohan gets most of his links from the third slot unit so like let's say I guess you, on this team, you can't run up like a physical kid Gohan, for example, or something, right? We'll, we'll see how that works. But this Piccolo also gives Gohan his ultra super attack effect or unit super attack, my bad, where he does actually stack defense and greatly stack attack. So that's very good. The greatly stacking attack will be helpful. And it also activates his active skill where his active skill wants a power. Uh, no, a bottom master sample unit, right? So very, very good to see overall. Now, I haven't seen what any of these guys do right here. We'll check it out here. So this is the Tech Super Saiyan Goku. His sticker looks very good. So this is Tech Int and SDR types, key three, and then 80% to stats. He gets 130% attack and defense. Further 50% defense when performing a super attack. Oh, nice. Key one, 25% attack and defense for all allies. This is good, actually. I like this a lot. Just having it on this team specifically, Legendary Existence. Attack and defense plus 15% for all Legendary Existence category allies. And then they also get 7% crit chance. You know what I was saying recently? Legendary Existence. I feel... Oh, which category team is it? I think it's this one. This is Legendary Existence. Yeah. I was saying, God Goku could potentially be like a lead for this team. Like, you know, if we get a battle of gods super saiyan god goku i think he could potentially lead this team in his leader skill and this is also a small hint for it just a what it's basically a 40 percent support for legendary existence category allies i think that's pretty good even with just the one key i like that a lot um 50 attack and 50 percent chance to create if there's a frieza uh enemy you know okay 50% attack and defense raise for the turn, supreme damage. And then again, he has a pretty solid link set. Only six links, which is very unfortunate, but this guy looks pretty good. Honestly, I'm impressed um, overall for a free unit. What is this? Yeah, again, World Tournament Easy A's are very sick. What are his stats? I mean, his defensive stat is not bad at all. 11k? Hmm. 
Like, he seems solid, right? I'm not going to say he's anything crazy, but he has a triple multiplicative buff here. 30%, then 50%, and another 50%. Very strong support unit. I like the Super Saiyan Goku a lot. He seems pretty cool. All right. Next, we have this AGL Bardock here. 130% attack and defense. 40% attack and defense. Each time he does a super attack, up to 80%. Oh, interesting. AGL types and STR types, key 3 and 50% attack. That's a lot. That's a huge buff. I mean, it's type restricted, but this is pretty good still. Like, it's a, it's a good buff. I do wish that it was, like, a category added on top of that. But, like, dude, imagine if they said, like, <laughs> yeah, Goku family get that. That'd be crazy. Super effective against all types and HP is 80% less. Nah, I don't really care. Greatly raised attack and defense for the turn supreme damage. Okay. This Bardock seems solid. He has very similar stats to Goku. I think I like what Goku's doing a little better. He has more multiplicative stats, I feel. Well, Bardock actually would have higher defense, I feel. But, I don't know. These two are pretty close. I think they're they're doing a good job with these EZAs. Like, they're support units. But these guys were already support units before they EZA'd anyway. So, okay. So, now we have the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. We don't actually have a good Super Saiyan 2 Gohan in the game. So, let's see what this guy is doing here. He's also, again, another support unit. 120% attack and defense. 40% attack and defense when performing a super attack. Um, Let me actually check this real quick here. What is this, pre I, I'm assuming this is different. This is three different typings, right? It's not translating correctly. I, I, I got y'all. I got y'all. Sometimes the, um, the on-site translation doesn't really work correctly, but that's why we have the good old Google Translate here. So if you take a look here, so yeah, age of tech and physical types, key 2 and 30% attack and defense. That's the same, I guess? Yeah, okay. I guess it doesn't really need to be changed, to be fair. 120% defense as the third attacker in the turn. Oh, then another 20% attack and defense for, again, physical attack and STR types, I believe. What was it? For AGL tech and STR. Okay. So there's a 50% support for AGL Tech and STR with the extra defense here. This is good. He stacks defense. Okay. His defensive stat. What is it? Okay, these are the new medals for the easy ace. Uh, 9,000 defense. Mm. This Gohan seems cool. But I think if it was going to be like that, this should have been like... They probably could have just been like, like guard instead of the extra defense or something. Because he's going to be off rotation. His stack's not going to get that much... His defensive stat, like 9.3k is pretty low compared to like 11k is like, you see that from banner units or even some Dokkan fest, right? This Gohan is a stacker though. I think he could be quite interesting. We'll, we'll see how he is, but again, 50% support abilities for just a free unit is very strong. So now we have the first Dragon Ball Saga banner unit. This guy's going to be dead on release, by the way, because he's a kid Goku, right? 180% attack and defense and two key. An additional attack that has a 30% chance to become a super. Two more enemies, he gets an additional 180% attack. His additional attacks have a high chance to perform a super. I guess or this might be another additional. And then with three, three more enemies, guaranteed additional super. Okay, so it just, no, it just, he increases the additional chance. I guess that's what it is. He does stack attack and defense. But you're not going to use this guy. <laughs> yeah, if you have the LR or the Int Dokkan Fest, you're not going to use this guy. I don't really like him. No. Just, just looking at his details. Uh, nah. You're not going to run this guy. And then we have this Goku right here at the end. This is the new Awakening. Let's see. 159% attack and defense. Two additional attacks and then a medium chance to become a super. That's pretty good. 7% attack and defense with each attack performed up to 70%. 30% chance to crit. And then if there's a World Tournament Category Ally, 159% extra attack and defense and 20% crit chance on top of that. Supreme Damage Lord's Attack. This Goku is okay, I guess. He's, again, he's nothing special, but this is cool. Once this is built up and he's multiple supering, that can be nice, but no super attack effects really suck for defense. Like, it's, these two Gokus are, like, okay. Like, they're nothing really special. They definitely made these guys a lot better. And this Piccolo is absolutely insane, so that's very exciting for future EZAs and stuff like that. Now, let me check out Harry Turney's page, and we're going to see if Harry Turney posted anything else here. 
that could be good to cover before I dive into the Dokkan info site itself. Um, background music, background music. So just all BGM so far, okay. Um, all right, well, let me take a look here. There are probably, are there any upcoming events maybe? Like, you know, upcoming challenge events. Are we seeing anything like that? No, maybe, do we potentially have a new stage for this guy yet? No, okay. Yeah, I guess it's just the, I would assume it's just the LRs and stuff like that. Let me double check though, make sure there's nothing else I'm potentially missing. All right, just a few extra things I want to talk about here. World tournament missions look to be the same. Actually, no, there's meat now for world tournament missions. That's really good. Just free meat, pretty good to see. What is this here? This is... Don't kind of make the signified character. I don't know what this is specifically. Well, maybe we can take a look there, okay. So this is the new stage. You get a bunch of this and a new wallpaper. Actually, this wallpaper is right here. This is the new wallpaper looking pretty cool. Okay, this is the uh, Dragon Ball Z opening. That's pretty sick. Nice, okay, that looks pretty good. A new mission for the speed battle. You wanna clear it in under two minutes and 25 seconds. Wow. So I guess my time record, I got like a, of a minute and 30 seconds. I should probably post that and that'd be pretty helpful for people, but yeah. Um, I don't know what this is here. Uh, I'm not sure. So these are the banners again. We know what they look like, but this does confirm that I believe, yeah, you get three, let me see, 350 hours. I think that's, you, yeah, it says three plus one, if I'm not mistaken, actually. Let me take a look. Is this three plus one? Um, let me, let me double check that. This is three plus one, I believe. Yes, just confirmed. People were worried that there wasn't gonna be three plus one, but there is three plus one for these banners. So you threw three multis, you get one very, very, very good. First mode starts on the 15th with the new special event with the openings. Missions get up to 600 points. All the opening songs will be available for 80 points each, which we can see the upcoming burst mode missions here. Um, if we take a look here, bam, this is all the burst mode missions. What categories do I wanna use? Do I wanna use any specific categories here? Let's see. No, I'm not seeing it. There's not a specific category you want to do. So you just want to beat them with the good um, scores. Okay, that's pretty much it, huh? But yeah, I think that's pretty much it here. There doesn't look to be anything else. I don't know what those tickets are for, but if there's something interesting about them, I'll update you guys in the comment section. But let me know what you think of the new LRs, the EZAs and stuff like that. I think, again, these are strong World Tournament EZs. For free-to-play units, I like them. They're probably some of the better free-to-play units in the game right now because free-to-play units suck. This is definitely the best free-to-play unit in the game. These two are very powerful. These guys suck, but <laughs> that's it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. I can't speak. Bye.